Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kanwoko Sogomo. I'm a graduate student at UC Berkeley, and I'm here to present on predicting maze yields at large scale using remote sensing. And this project is in Mexico. A little bit of introduction to this is that data is often found at an aggregated level. This is often statewide, county, country level, municipality level. And this is because it's very expensive for data to be collected at a finer scale, such as household or farm level. And even when data is at that finer scale, there's privacy concerns. And that's why, and that is why it is, data is found at aggregated level. So the research question of this project is, can we develop a method to predict yield accurately at finely scale using remote sensor data, satellite imagery, and aggregated data? Basically, we want to know what is the yield of an individual farm from data that was co collected at an aggregated layer, which is at the municipality. The users for this model would technically be policymakers, uh, since our, our, our where we're working in this project is in Mexico, they would want to develop subsidy programs to target rural farmer based on their production, and also this would to help in poverty alleviation. And this will also help support agricultural extension services. We use two data sets, one being the CF that covers from 2003 to 2021, and it contains information on hectares planted, hectares harvested, and the yield. And we also use data from INEGI, which provides data at the RNA control, which is at farm level, and the median of the RNA control is 10 farms. For input features, we use two satellites, which is the Landsat that is freely available on the Google Earth Engine at 30 meter pixel. And also for comparison, we use the Planet Nikfi satellite image, which is at roughly five meters. And if this image collection is also freely available on Google Earth Engine. So NICFI, the Planet NICFI data is through a partnership, through partnership between Planet and the Norwegian um, initiative, which is the NICFI, the NICFI, and it provides two images per year from 2015 to 2019. And thereafter, you get one image monthly. To provide context on within a municipality, you have uh, this is a municipality in Oaxaca State, where when you go to the ADC level, you can see how the yield varies among different ADCs. Our approach builds on the Yara et al. method, where we introduce a dimensionality reduction technique to train a neural network at, at, at a level where training data is more aggregated than satellite imagery, and we need to maintain the temporal and spatial information so that we can be able to discriminate the crop to be able to get the, the crop information. Um, and just to layer on, on our method, I'll discuss about the AI tal method. So they were developing a method to predict crop yields, basically soy in farms in the US through the Modi satellite. And this, this method basically takes the pixel latent information without consideration of the position of the pixels and creates histograms based on the information of a specific pixel. Um, so for instance, you, you're counting and binning uh, green pixels. And our method, however, uh, keeps track of the pixels that move from green to green, I mean green to brown or brown to green. The method that the Yara et al. used was basically binning the different bands within the MODIS satellite. Um, Dimensionality reduction technique is important because uh, it's very useful in this case because municipalities have different shapes and sizes, and it helps in reducing this different these complex shapes by having a standardized histogram for all these municipalities. And just for context, we have uh, two base images at the top and at the bottom. You can see that uh, the different dimensions just to show that these are two different municipalities and. The first image is time one, is a period where there was crop on that farm, and time two is a period where there was no crop, just crop and fallow, and we are only keeping the NDVI of the pixel. The NDVI is derived through the NIR and red bond, and I created a dummy 
uh, there'll be numbers there just to show the end you get at, is at pixel level. Thereafter, we create a 2D histogram with two, five bins uh, that gives information about the movement between the different time periods. So for example, in this uh, 2D uh, in two, two bin uh, mat, uh, histogram, you can see that what this nine will tell us is that nine pixels move from the first bin to the second bin. And in the NDVI, this means that a, a pixel was brown and became less brown. So the results that we got from Landsat were promising, uh, but we're still improving the model as this is a work in progress. We got an R squared of 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and this is at the municipality level. And in comparison to the planet, which performed a bit low or very low, this is due to we used uh, the two images per year, which was a really indicative of the crop cycle. So six months is technically either one and a half or two month crop cycles. And uh, this was the images that we had within our training data set. So our training data set is within 2016. And this is the results that we have, but we want to improve on the planet uh, data that we have on the years where we get the monthly image per month. Just to compare the difference between the resolution since Planet is at a finer scale than Landsat. So, in conclusion, I've presented a novel dimensionality reduction technique that uses 2D histograms. And I show that this method that works at predicting maziles using a reduced histogram approach. Asante Sana, my name is Kangogo Sogomo, and I welcome questions right now.